time for a headshot. Nice. Sand people. They do. <laughs> That's one of the fun things about the flares. Like, if it hits him, it can, like, carry him off a bit <laughs> before it like, detonates. Like a firework. I think I'd be able to hit the small, very... I'd be able to hit the very slowly moving, unevasive trash can on wheels, but no. <laughs> it's, its movement pattern is too predictable. You thought it was <laughs> throwing you for a loop. I love that excuse by people who are too good at stuff. Like, oh, I'm so used to moving targets, I couldn't hit the station every once. <laughs> Well, it can happen sometimes that, like, someone who sucks at something will temporarily sort of get one over on someone who's good at it because the person who's good at it was expecting, was, like, preparing for someone else who's also good. Yeah. So it's like they're not prepared, they, like, they weren't prepared for the other guy to do something really stupid, basically. I wish that that would be how it works in, uh, like, chess and stuff. But it's not, usually. Oh, that is the third time I got her with that! Jeez! I know. She really ought to just take that away from me at this point. I mean, I'm not mature enough to handle it responsibly. <laughs> I think once is all it takes. Yeah. To be fair, once would also be all it took to, to like, blow your torso in half, so... Uh-oh. Shai Hamoud! Boy, uh, he bounced off her, I think. <laughs> so wait, this is the thing that we encountered earlier? Uh, yes. Remember we, you know, kind of slaughtered its children? Yeah. It's... Awesome. It's still around. How is this place ever functional as a paradise planet? Well, you'll you'll find out just what we do find out what went wrong. Everything it looks like. Yeah, well actually yeah, pretty much. The answer to what went wrong is pretty much everything. Or if, at least more than one thing definitely. Was it like a day? <laughs> so, like, you've played Dead Rising, right? I played the second one. Okay. Do you, like, when I when I play Dead Rising and stuff, like, you know, do you ever, are you ever like, how is this a mall? Because no mall that really exists is anything like the malls in Dead Rising. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, this place was was supposed to be a zombie wasteland because it's, like, only 40% of the stores are for clothes, and then there's hardware stores for some reason, <laughs> despite nobody, no mall ever existing where there was hardware stores. I know I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Somebody will be like, my mall has a the, hardware the, store. The, the hardware store owning demographic is turning off their videos in disgust now. I'm sure by my ignorance, but it's like, <laughs> like. But no, yeah, I know what you mean. Now you don't see a lot of hard, like hardware, like hardware stores at malls. If there was a hardware, hardware store right. at a mall, like, do you think any dad ever would have a problem getting kids to just follow? The, the, come to the hardware store. You can go to the rest of the mall. Uh oh. Oh dear. It's a big one. Oh, a rare moment of reflection for Gray. <laughs> I 
Man, she's gone through some conditioning. She is not phased at all by this thing. No. Well, who, who, who knows what... I mean, you know, they're the, you know, final Echo elites. Who knows what kind of crazy aliens they fought. That's true. These cars look suspicious, suspiciously like cars that exist now. Well, they they had a sort of they they wanted to go for a sort of vintage aesthetic for this place. I see. It's you know it's it's a early twenty first century chic. A throwback. I like that idea. Like, like um, did you ever see Looper? Uh no, I've heard it's good though. Yeah, it's, it's all right, but they're like like to explain the fact that despite being like fifty years in the future, everything's still from the night like twenty tens because it's all like twenty first early twenty first century chic. <laughs> well, that's a clever way to get around their budget. Yeah. Uh oh. Alright, we're taking to the air. Ishii, despite facing over insurmountable odds, and you're, is not phased by your sudden appearance. Well, he's Ishii. He, he's phased by nothing. Especially when he's Mecha Ishii. He's... I just love how, like, this is a very action movie set. Yeah. Because it's he's, like, not phased. He's like, I knew you'd be here. And then Ishii's yeah. like, whatever, get in the chopper, asshole. <laughs> All right. Okay, now you notice we got the little helicopter health meter on the side there. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. So does this gun have a cooldown, a minigun have a cooldown meter? Does it? I'm not sure. I think so. That's like, so, I don't know very much about guns. I'm not like a huge gun nut. But I do have a friend who's a gun nut. And the one thing that annoys him about video games and the Gatling guns and stuff <laughs> is that, well, I guess they're miniguns. It also annoys, I think that actually is you that it annoys no, 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 I, I only get mad if you call them chain guns. Okay, that's right. The uh, Gatling gun is fine. Because they're, the reason they have the multi-barrel system is because they're it's, designed it's, it's heat. Yeah. to not heat up. So you can just shoot them forever. Oh, right, just flying through the building. I think you were supposed to shoot the window out. That may, have, that may well have been. Um... But, yeah, I don't know if this one overheats or not. The uh, the one the arms before. Although to be fair, the ones we've been using before were like the weapons of post-apocalyptic savages, so they might just be complete pieces of crap. Poorly maintained, and they just heat up in general. I like to think if I had to make a minigun, it would just it would do everything oh. right. I think like if I had to make anything mechanically complex, oh. I would do it wrong. I mean, no, I mean, I probably I would, too. I mean, <laughs> no, I, mean I probably would as well. Gotta go from the back of the... Oh. You're, like, almost dead. Yes, I am. I didn't do that well in the opening segments of this. Kind of cost me. Was there a check? Prevent he Hecaton from destroying Bill. That's the thing's name. Hecaton. Interesting. He has no shortage of uh
Well, I really hope it did. Oh, there we go. Of course, it's required by law any if you get on it. That was actually the best like vehicle landing we've had so far because we crashed the spaceship, we crashed the train, we crashed the gyrocopter, and that thing is wrecked. But at least we landed safely. True. Well, no, I don't know. Yeah. something to straighten out first did you kill my father i know fuck all about you. i am your father <laughs> obi-wan did not tell you the full truth uh-oh you're kidding me i am not your righteous indignation has cost me enough serrano remember we need serrano alive Wholly uninterested in whatever bullshit you people have to resolve. If either of you had a hand in the death of my father, I'll die happy knowing I took you both with me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see we're all a bit upset. I see that. But friends, we got bigger fish to fry right now. The corporation that built this putrid mistake resort has commissioned me at great cost to detonate a DNA bomb that will dissolve all life while leaving the city perfectly intact. Allowing Did he say DNA bomb? Yes. Maybe not As in, it would kill anything with DNA. Well, now, Apparently. Second, you rim job. This ah! DNA bomb is set to detonate in two hours. My rescue squad won't arrive with a jump ship for three hours. You have with do the math and see the problem we face. He's telling the truth. No! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Think for a second, boy. You kill me, no jump ship home. You both die. How I see it, I did you a favor. She would have discovered your dead echo squad where the boat done killed her old man. Storms a broom. So, if you pus dicks want to live past the next couple hours, we need to get cover. Get to making our way out to the Ulysses and deactivate that bomb. Oh, God, he's in the squad now. Yes, he is. Remember what he said about uh, there's a gamma storm coming? Mm hmm. Which. Act 6, Chapter 1. Well, there we go. Daddy will get you out. Get, that is tight. That is that is like the gamma storms are like reason number seven that this place went down horribly, as you're about to see. 